that the paper was for. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a yellow jacket, which is one of my most complex models. It's um, hard, and I can tell you, it's much harder than the Indian Dragon, but not as like rubber to like this yellow jacket or something. This one, it's not too hard, but I recommend having a good amount of experience in origami to be able to do it. Um, this is a super complex model, so as usual, I recommend having a thin, but also a strong sheet. I'll be using a 40 by 40 centimeter test sheet from origamishop.com. And let's get started. You're gonna start by folding diagonally in half in only one direction. Unfold. Now, make sure the diagonal is going from the bottom left corner to the top right. Now, you're gonna fold the bottom edge to the top edge and make a pinch on the right side. Like that. Now, let me turn this light off. And let me turn, actually, let's keep it on. Then, you're gonna fold, then you're gonna fold this corner to this point where the pinch meets the edge. And you're gonna make a pinch right over here. In a second, I gotta take my fleece off. Oops. Then, let me get a better angle on this. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate it about like this. And then, you're gonna fold a crease that goes from this point to this edge, somewhere around here, and the this corner a lot lies on the crease, like this. Like I said, I I recommend as always make your creases strong and precise, strong and accurate, and make sure that you have a good. A, like at least seven years of experience in origami and at least a year of experience in complex models and of course you'll be able to you need to know how to pleat sync you need to know how to do a bird base and that's basically it okay now unfold and then you're gonna fold this edge and this edge to this to the middle crease Like this video if you want more insect tutorials. Probably the part, this is definitely harder than talking about the model I've ever designed besides the porcupine. The porcupine is probably harder. Okay. Then, you're gonna make a crease from this point to this point. Now, rotate 180 degrees. And then, you're gonna fold this edge and this edge, make the angle bisector. Basically folding this edge to this edge. And fold up to this crease. Or fold up to this point, whatever is easier to tell. Then you make this, where the paper splits a mountain fold. and align this edge, or where the two edges meet, with this edge, creating a rabbit ear. You can create a rabbit ear in whatever method you like. I prefer doing this. Okay, now, you're gonna fold it, bind it to both sides, then fold this corner to this point where the crease meets the edge. And crease strongly. 
then <clears throat> then you're gonna hold sorry you're gonna unfold and then you know on this crease with this edge <clears throat> sorry I have workers in my throat then go along this crease making it a valley fold this time and then crease it on this way then you're gonna need a crease so that that aligns with this edge Increase strongly. Now, you're not going to unfold these two flaps, but otherwise you're going to completely unfold. So unfold the rabbit ear and unfold everything. It's going to try to lock together. Don't let it. And we're going to have this. And on the inside, we're not going to unfold it, but just to show, just to show you, it's going to look like this on each side. Okay, now... What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this corner to this point where the two corners meet, the two raw corners, like that. And repeat on the other side. Make sure the layers don't slide. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the crease from this point to the edges, straight crease. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna basically um, kind of figure out where the thin part and thick part meet, basically, where the two thick parts meet, and then align this corner with this line. And then you are gonna create a rabbit ear. Actually, no, I'm not saying. Uh, I think, yeah, we create a rabbit ear. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this to the side and then make a crease to this corner. So basically you line this edge with this line. Strong crease. Then unfold and fold, um, fold this edge to estimate a third between here and here. So about, so basically this length and this, this length and this length should be the same. Okay. Increase. Then you're gonna, oops, you're gonna fold this edge to this edge. Then fold this edge to this line. And finally, Hold this edge to this edge, to the edge, the real edge on that side. Okay, and unfold. Now, you're gonna repeat on the other side. You don't have to make it perfect, just the best you can. I forgot. You're also then you're gonna fold a, a crease along this edge. Sorry, I forgot about that. And then fold this edge to this edge, making sixths. Oh, I missed something. 
try to make sure. Now you're going to repeat on that side. Hold this. Flip to this side. And repeat. So half. Fold in half. Then thirds. And so on. Until you have sixths. That was pretty. Yeah. Here. Here's some get so pretty thick. So you want to make sure that you crease strongly so it goes through all the layers. And like I said, I'd recommend using a thinner paper than I am. I'm just trying to show it the best I can. Okay. And completely unfold. So unfold this. Unfold this, and unfold this, and this. And it's gonna look like this. Now, I might have done something wrong, so <laughs> stick with me. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold here, then fold here, and strengthen this creep go along this crease and this crease the very last creases and make it strong then unfold completely and you're going to have the bird base now what you're going to do is you are going to um fold a crease basically a v that goes like this like that. Now repeat here. Okay, there we go. Now, we're the 180 degrees and basically we're going to divide from here to here Basically, first, you need to crease between this point and this point all the way across. Crease strongly. Button hold. And now, you're going to divide from here to here. And so fourths. This can fold in half. So this decreases the line. Okay, now fold this edge to this the where the crease is in the line. We are done the pre creasing. Now we're gonna collapse. So, what we're gonna do is let's start with, with the ninja star looking thing. It's called a bird mace. You're gonna make mountain holes along the edges. Basically, once you do that, you're gonna fold it in half pushing here
and we're basically going to flatten it like this. It's not going to completely flatten. So now, we're not going to pleat six a bit. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to fold, basically we're going to keep reversing this edge. By that, I mean we're going to fold like this. And then like this. And so on and so forth. So we're going to keep doing that. basically um, do an accordion with these folds. all the way, which I'll show you in a sec. And then, you're going to keep on going. Reverses all the way down. part which is this
Okay, make sure it doesn't rip. Okay, we have that side done for, for that part. Now we're gonna repeat on this side. Okay. more folds. We're almost done with the collapse. Yay!
And now we're going to push these points so that this goes forward. And we're going to work on the top. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold basically you're gonna fold along these creases but first you're gonna fold here down you see you're gonna make a mountain fold here and fold it down here and here and then pull it all the way up to this crease same on this side okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on this and make a mountain hold here And now I'm fold here. And basically, you're just going to push it into place. Like that. Then, what you're going to do is. I did something wrong. Let me fix that real quick. You're actually going to make this one a mountain fold. And you're going to do a double grim. Whatever. There we go. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do, now that I got it right, you're gonna do the same thing, and this time, you're gonna basically gonna create a rabbit ear on this black. And then you're gonna repeat on this side. So you're gonna do the mountain bowls. So what we're gonna do. Okay, come on. Then you're going to do the pinch rabbit ear. And 
then the last part before we flatten it is this clean sink, which isn't that bad. And then, now you're gonna do it. Just here and keep on doing it, right? We're done with the collapse, now we're just going to flatten it. So we're going to push this part all together, kind of crushing it, squishing it, but not crumpling it. Be careful. Like that. We're going to push it all together. Okay, and by the way, this is the legs, and this is the, the that's going to be the wings, or at least it should be. It's going to be approximately, it's hard to explain, because approximately was an awful word for this, but anyways, you're going to, basically you're going to push this together, and make a mountain fold here. like that, and basically you're just going to push it together, making two new flaps like this, and just kind of scrunch it up, make sure it stays together. And then fold like this. And it should basically flatten. Because it doesn't fully flatten NBD or no big deal. It, 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 we, we don't need it completely flat. Yeah, our point is to be accurate, not to like completely flatten it. There's sometimes a difference.
cape. And our base, our yellow jacket or wasp or whatever you want to call it, base is collapsed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tug this pointy part inside really far. And then we're going to push, actually no, we're going to tuck it in even further. Like really far. Just like that. And you're just going to have three edges, in the edge flaps, as I like to call it, in the front. Now, you're, what you're going to do, you're going to skin down this flap, these two flaps, the flaps that are going to become the antenna. Now, you're basically going to sculpt them. Push hard. Give me a bit of a challenge. And then repeat here. You don't, this is part is to taste. You don't have to make it completely skinny. It's however you want to make it. So I prefer to make it somewhat skinny, but it's easier to make it a bit less thin. Like a real antenna. We have the two antenna done. Now, we're gonna um, we'll make sure we're up. And then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold you're gonna tuck this inside basically you're gonna make a crease between here and here let's push it together and then we're gonna fold this part up Whatever method you like for tucking it in, then you're going to make the legs, which is somewhat simple. You just kind of fold these down. and put them together to make them really skinny. That's what you want for the legs. Like skinnier than, I mean, the can should be skinnier, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Okay, then turn over and repeat. Of course, this isn't exactly yellow. I don't have much yellow paper, but this is 
my best attempt to show you. Hopefully you like it. And now you're basically going to fold this up. Then, you're going to fold this down and make a crimp, making it shorter. Now, actually, let's make this into a stinger. And again, shape the legs. And then, you just kind of shape the wings a bit. And then we work on the second wing, and we are done with our wasp. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next time. Bye.